Well, I'm in my trapping shed. I haven't used it in four years. It was packed out with just crap. <laughs> and I, me and my daughter, Gracie, we organized it a little bit. This countertop was cleaned off. I was making some uh, Alabama signs with a red and white paint there. Uh, palette signs. Uh, mm -hmm. There's some of my lures. I wonder, one of them's good. That's my, I just made, I thawed out some beaver tail right here and uh, let it set out in the sun and then I poured some of it off and I got about three times that many, that much more to uh, pour up in those empty bottles right there. And I'm going to mix, um, as soon as I order it, mix some uh, bobcat gland, coyote gland, fox gland, and uh, I make my own some glands with the with the beaver tail oil. Uh, a friend of mine uh, showed me how to do that. Thank you, Steve. <laughs> Thank you for showing me. And uh, I tell you what, fellas, I really enjoyed I really enjoy trapping. My dad's old number Vic, uh, number 11 Victor, one spring. I really enjoy trapping. Possum stretchers, cow, uh, coon stretchers, possum stretchers, rat stretchers. I got some wooden ones too. Beaver rings, my snares, they've been hanging up there for four years. I got a fox and a couple of coon and a beaver hide. I had three or four beaver hide. I gave a couple to my sister. Make an Indian something out with it. You know, I'll tell you what, I miss trapping these last four years. I miss trapping these last four years. It's just, I miss getting out in the woods and enjoying God's creation. And uh, I decided, even though the fur, the money isn't there on the fur, especially here in central Alabama, I'm about 30 minutes from Birmingham, maybe a little less. Central. Alabama here, roll tide. Uh, I I just miss uh, trapping so much. I just I don't care if the fur's down. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna trap, put some fur up, send it in anyhow. If I get a dollar for it, I get a dollar for it. Uh, I'm, I'm, my specialty is beaver. Uh, I can catch a beaver, I tell you that. Still got the, the inches and everything, the, st the standard size for, uh, raccoon, beaver, lynx, fisher, every, otter, possum, red fox, I don't do bear, uh, coyote, lynx, lynx cat. Anyway, I got all the sizes, XLs, whatever, to small. Had that up there for ever, ever since I first started. Had it laminated. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, I miss trapping. Can't wait to get the season start. Love it. Loving it. I love it. I just want to get back in God's country and have fun doing something I really love. With that being said, thank you, and you have a blessed day, every one of you.
All, these are all one and a half. It's my coon traps. I got some ones over there for um, coon too, but uh, mainly if I try to do rats, muskrats. I will, uh, I eat beaver. I have eaten beaver before. It is good if you can get past that very, very mild liver taste. Other than that, it, beaver is good. It's dark red meat. Tastes pretty good. I like it. I'm going to uh, keep a lot of the beaver meat and eat it. Uh, I've watched a lot of trapping videos in the last several months. Uh, the meat trapper. I tell you what, that man know, knows what he's talking about. Listen to him. He knows what he's talking about. Clint Lock. Lunar, I can't say his name last name right. <laughs> That's another man. Listen to. He knows what he's talking about. Thank you, everyone. This is Fleming. Y'all have a blessed day.